Hey guys, this is Chris, Delaware Stratomatic. Um, thought I would uh, post a video this evening going over some more uh, advanced um, things with Stratomatic Baseball. Uh, tonight we're going to work on uh, dice probabilities and also how to read a Stratomatic card. Uh, so you can uh, better evaluate a player's ability to perform a certain way. So without any further ado, let's meet our uh, four baseball players we have here in the house this evening. Um, we've got Toronto Blue Jays, Jose Batista. How's it going, Jose? Uh, starting pitcher, David Price. Uh, we have backup infielder, Cliff Pennington. And relief pitcher Drew Hutchinson, welcome in this evening, guys. Hope uh, you found the pretzels okay. Uh, but we'll get back to you guys later. First, let's go over some basic uh, dice probabilities. Uh, Six-sided die. So in order to roll any particular number on one single six-sided die, such as the white one you use playing Stratomatic, you have a 16.66 to infinitum chance, basically 16.7% chance of rolling either a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or a 6 on a single die. Uh, go with uh, two dice, such as your two red D6s, um, and you can see the percentages there. You have a just under a 3% chance to roll a 2 or a 12, 5.5% chance to roll a 3 or 11, just over 8% chance to roll a 4 or a 10, and 11% chance to roll a 5 or a 9, and nearly a 14% chance to roll a 6 or an 8, and that pesky old 7 with that 16.66666 forever there. So in order to roll 3 dice, the 1d6 white and the 2 red d6s, you can see the percentages there. In order to roll a 7 in any particular column, it's less than a 3% chance. So, you see something and you're like, wow, oh, I can get a home run. I can get a home run. Probably not going to get a home run. However, starting at the middle is a really good place to begin in evaluating your cards. Um, because... In any one column, as you can see there, 6, 7, and 8, that adds up to about a 7.4% chance of rolling a 6, 7, or an 8 um, in any particular column. And in order to roll any 6, 7, or 8 on either the hitter, a hitter's card or a batter's, batter's card or a pitcher's card, you've got about 22.2% chance of doing so to roll a 6, 7, or an 8 anywhere on a particular player's card. So it's a good place to start. I'm going to try to get the focus thing going again. Yeah, we love the focus. We love the focus. Focus right here. Okay. It'll focus eventually. There we go. So you have over almost a 25% chance of rolling a 6, 7, or an 8 in any column on a single card. Well, one out of four, that's a good place to start in uh, looking at cards to see how you think a player is going to perform. How do you do it? Well, looking at sixes, sevens, and eights, uh, how many hits does the player have? Uh, how many hits for power? How many fly ball Bs? How likely is he to knock a player in if you got a guy standing on third? How many ground ball A's? You plug him into a one-out situation with a man on first, how likely is he to double up? Um, how many strikeouts? How many walks? Same goes for pitchers. I mean, you can evaluate any card looking at the 6, 7, 8. And you figure that's almost half of your die roll chances on that player's card. Almost half. So might as well start at the middle, might as well keep it simple. Let's take Batista. Against lefties, he's got two walks in his one column. Um, he's got a walk in his three column. So he's got three walks against lefties. You look against righties, he's got the same. Two walks in his one and a walk in his three. Um, you look at hits. He's rolling a homer or a double in his two column against lefties. Um, against lefties, he's got a skinny triple there. And he's got a real skinny single in a three column. You look at his right column his against righties. He's got a homer in his six, a solid homer. 
Um, he's got the single split in his 3-7, so you add a lot, a little bit more probability of power against a right-handed pitcher. Um, you can also look at a ground ball A's. He's got a ground ball A in his 1-7 against righties, right there in the middle of the screen. And he's got a ground ball A 3-8 against lefties. And so he's got a slightly less chance of doubling up against a left-handed pitcher. Slightly. Not much, but slightly. Uh, fly ball Bs. Um, he hits uh, 5 to 20 on his 2 7 against lefties there. There's a man on third and less than two outs. You've got a sacrifice fly. Uh, same with his 2 7 against righties. Sack fly there, 2 to 20. If he doesn't get the triple and there's a man on third, he's knocking him home. So that's a run. Um, you can go the same with uh, your pitching staff. David Price, he's striking out 6, 7, 8 against uh, left-handed batters in his one column. Only 7 and 8 in his four column, rather. Sorry. And only 7 and 8 against righties. But he does have a ground ball A, so he's going to force a ground ball in, a uh, double play ground ball. Um, you look at the five columns. He's got a strikeout. He's got a triple single split against both. Uh, you look at the six columns. You've got solid hit, solid hit, and solid split. Uh, six column against righties. He's got a skinny, couple of skinny hit splits and also a strikeout. So that's going to say he's going to be better against right-handed batters. Um, Hutchinson, do you want to bring him in? You know, you can look against lefties and righties and determine where he's going to be better. Um, same with uh, Pennington. Do you want to bring him in to pinch hit? He's not getting a lot of hits. He's drawing walks, so he may well get on base. Um, but this is more than just looking at what he will do. It's a good way to gauge what he's not going to do. It's not like taking Pennington and seeing that 2-2 uh, two -two home run against left-handed pitchers and thinking, oh, I can get a home run, oh, I can get a home run. Yeah, you probably could, but no, it probably won't happen. So you can use this to also temper your enthusiasm by looking at a card, look at it logically, evaluate it, and get a much better and realistic idea as to how a player is going to perform. So that's about it for that video. Any questions, comments, please put them down below. Uh, visit Stratomatic.com. Um, Hal Richmond, the uh, owner and creator of the company and this game, has put so many years into such a fun product. And I ask you to go there and support the company by uh, purchasing games and in-print sets of cards from the company. How to print, get them from wherever you can. But if Stratomatic's making them, buy it from them. Support the company. Also, somers.com, uh, somers.com, a good forum, historical replays, projects, all kinds of information relating to Strat, baseball in general, a little bit of football, basketball, and uh, hockey thrown in there as well, Strat-wise, anyhow. And uh, again, if you like the video, please hit like, share it with your friends, leave any comments you like. This is Stratomatic Delaware, and Chris uh, signing off. Folks, have a good evening. Keep on rolling. Sorry, Mr. Batista, we'll get your favorite donuts next time. <laughs>